up, Carton fam, Insta fam, Facebook fam, anniversary fam, and later this afternoon, Magnify fam. Uh, it's our anniversary. On the 15th, we are 11 years old. And here I am with five beers to talk to you about at Carton. And I'm going to keep that cheated here. And then I've got two more we're doing at Magnify this afternoon. So, so much. So sit back, relax, enjoy. We will talk through what's going on here. The only repeat for you guys will be Digger. So those of you that have been texting me every day for the last, say, I don't know how long, probably since Memorial Day. Here's Digger. It's back. Um, maybe since it's the shortest story, I'll start with Digger. Digger we did 11 years ago after a day of beer drinking at, um, down, at the, down at the beach, Moby's and so on and so forth, drinking a whole bunch of pretty easy lagers and pale ales and eating a ton of cherry stone clams with, uh, with lemon on them. We came home and decided we needed to make a beer that way, the joke being like an oyster stout, but we're a clam community, so we did a clam ale. Uh, the shells basically add a minerality to it is the whole joke. Um, and then we put some lemongrass in it. And if it tastes perfect, which it has for the last couple of years, it tastes like a good, clean, mm, tastes like a good, clean, crispy boy, pale ale, summer day drinker with a little bit of a finish of lemon and clamshell like you've been eating clams all day in the sun. So that's Digger. And it's back. So stop texting. Come by it. Don't tell me you missed it. Not on me. Here's your announcement. Let's do Clam Jam next. So Clam Jam's hilarious. Clam Jam has been a secret in the brewery, I think, for the whole time, but I only really became aware of it a couple of years ago. Mmm. So, <laughs> and I hate how much I love it. Um, so, so hard to keep track of five, Matt. Um, anyway. Clam jam. So when we would make digger, the, the folks in the brew house would take a couple six holes, pull the pin, put a crab oil in their old bay, emeralds, essence, whatever you call it, but a celery salt, paprika, you know, crab oil into a uh, digger and we called it clam jam. And last year at Boyle's during our anniversary celebration, they got me so drunk I agreed to can it this year. So here's clam jam for you. If you love digger, You'll love it. If you love the popcorns, vodkas, and stuff that are flavored with crab boil these days, you'll love it. I don't want to love it, but I really do. It's fucking delightful. Um, so there you go. That's that. Now, let's get to the SS beer. God, so much. Cut, take two, back to the next start over. Uh, SS, you know that every year on our anniversary, we do a double boat. Um, um, we do a double boat, we call it SS. What's funny is Double Boat's SS Beers, the bigger boat series, have now become the New Jersey IPA. So we do like three, four, five a year anyway. And the anniversary one just stays SS, even though it's an NJ IPA uh, double boat. Anyway, SS Between, we had a hippie working here for the last six months who would ask me all these hippie questions. And at one point, he asked me if I knew what the days between were, which is August 1st, August 9th, the time between Jerry's birth and Jerry's death. And being an old deadhead, I said, of course I do. In fact, we ferment our anniversary beer every year over the days between. So he wanted to call it the haze between. I met him in the middle and called it SS between. Um, it's the boat hop. So Amarillo, Galaxy Citra. I think that's all we pulled from boat, maybe another. But we added Trident because those of you that know this is the year of Trident are there. No. So it's an 8.4. Joking, we called it a 1.5% IPA because half the distance in between single and double. Um, around here, singles are under 7.5 and, and triples are over 10. So it's right in between those at 8.4. 1.5 is the joke. Um, oh, but it's, yeah, it's, fucking, it's nice and oily. It's all the boat things. Still got that little bit of brash bitterness jersey ipa thing from the coal but that's going to get a lot of people in trouble behave yourselves people now 
Let's go over to the OWC anniversary beer. Cut, take three. Um, 11. So 11 is a barley wine. A blend of two barley wine. Oh, so sweet. Yay, Maris. Um, all right, so it's a blend of two barley wines. It's a cognac barrel-aged barley wine and a brown sugar rum barrel-aged barley wine blended together. And it's just that treacly, sweet, pretty, mm, boozy candy essence. Oh, it's fucking delightful. But that brown sugar note in there from the brown sugar rum barrel made us think that we needed to fuck around with a little. I know you really shouldn't fuck around with barley wines, but we are carton and we're allowed to. So this one has some coffee and some cinnamon in it, and it's called 11 Plus. Um, Not too much, just enough. The, the insider tip here is the non-barrel-aged regular coffee variation next January is going to be horchata. So we've been working on a horchata regular coffee. And while we were tasting this and that brown sugar was coming through, I was like, we should coffee and cinnamon this. So there you go. So 11, the XI bottle, is available in the traditional carton three packs while supplies last. 11 plus is a single bottle of the same blend with coffee and cinnamon. Digger is digger, salted clam ale. SS between is bigger boat for 2022. And clam jam is, God, I've gone on so long, is the salted clam ale plus crab boil spices a la Old Bay. Jesus, what a week. Um. Love y'all. Thanks for getting us through 11 years, especially the last year. Hard. Oh, the t-shirt. Thanks, Maddie. Good work. Last but not least, it's our anniversary. And for those of you that have been paying attention, the Pop Art series this year, the label we use for in-house Pop Art beers, is a Herring-inspired label. Um, last year, it was Lichtenstein, if you were keeping track. Well, this year, Zoe and the Good Three team thought to make up an anniversary shirt with this year's pop art label. So here it is. And I'm wearing it. And as you can tell, it's cool and it fits. For those of you that know, this is large. Um, so that's how they fit. Those you can get online. These you can get delivered in New Jersey. Everything else you got to get in here. Um, and I guess the most important part, say for the last, for the one of you still watching, is thank you. 11 years, you know, when we started this, 11 years ago, nobody was sure while there, why there were no breweries in New Jersey. You know, we were the 13th brewery in New Jersey in 2011. And now we're one of 130. And if you're my Facebook friend, you're watching us try to work things out with our regulators and figure out how to make it even better here in New Jersey for small craft beer and all small craft things. But it's been a wonderful 11 years. And a lot of that is because of all of you supporting us in fucking insane things like a salted clam ale 12, 11 years ago and coffee and cinnamon barley wines and well this one's kind of traditional these days anyway see you soon thank you and happy anniversary to us be good y'all i'm gonna drink this one